I am not a virgin, I am a male. What is Lynn here? Why is she here? Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tampered, and I hope you enjoy this video. Beef? It betekent dom. Hij bent beef? Dan is dom erbij. After one Friday of not uploading, I have come to one conclusion. I really need to count my eggs before they're hatched. It's like I had a good Friday streak of uploading Minecraft videos and uploading Valorant videos, and all of a sudden, nothing. Before I move on to the video, let me explain why. I got fricked over by midterms. Yes, I know it sounds like a pathetic excuse, but it's valid, trust me. When October the 21st rolls around, you guys have to be prepared for that kind of stuff. So that's why I've never uploaded. Yet instead, here I am playing this game one day after, and I'm probably gonna upload this on Sunday. Now before you ask, yes, I've got rid of seagulls. You can see that there's none right there. I basically just brought Alex's mobs back to a previous update that didn't have seagulls. If I can be honest, as they were more annoying than challenging so that's why I got rid of them but with all that being said let's just move on to the video so in my previous video you may recall that my second part got corrupted so I did find a cave back at my house but um, what I really wanted to show you guys was this meadow part right here that is assuming I don't get eaten by an alligator yeah here damn what is part. that oh my god stay away from me please why are there alligators in colder biomes that's what I want to know. He didn't chase me, did he? No? Okay, good. So this is the part that I never got to show you guys in the second episode. It's actually a pretty cool biome if you want to build your own house here, but you may have to clear some shrubs that are in the way. Sorry, I'm just on high alert right now because that alligator literally was not supposed to spawn there. I think there's a um, coniferous forest edge right there, so we're going to check that out. Also, I had no idea I could do this before, but if you hit M, you can see your um, whole map right here. So I spawned right around here here moved through the redwood forest right here and then basically sailed all the way to the village and here i am right now i don't know why i never used it in previous videos i guess it was because i forgot about it oh a marshland now i didn't know this was here in the previous video anyway i'm just gonna head back to my house before i continue any further so i'll see you guys once i get back to my house one eternity later you can see i have a bed right here what the hell is that over there is it eating its own salmon Oh, never mind. Okay, I took that out of context, my bad. I thought it was eating its own s <laughs> I bet they would actually do that in real life, too. As much as I want to deforest, I probably shouldn't get into that too quickly, so what I'm gonna do right now is just get ready to go underground, because I'm gonna be looking for diamonds. And the reason I'm looking for diamonds is so I can get into the nether. I love how all this is just grass, and then right here, stone. Another thing I found while I was on my journey is this um, nether portal that basically sank into the ocean. I just heard something. What the hell is going on down there? Is it one of those monsters from frickin' Upgrade Aquatic? So anyway, here's the cave I was in in my, I believe, second episode, and then I basically just went down here. I still have to torch this entire area just so creepers don't spawn here, but for now I think I'm making good progress. So I went down here... Basically just mine my way down. Okay, so this is what I ran into. I should probably bring a water bucket just so I can have a way back up. Because the cloud in the bottle ain't gonna cut it. A few moments later. Okay, nope, there is a lot of monsters down there. Look at this, dude. Okay, you know what, frick it. Oh, frick, okay. Shoot that. Hang on a second, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, man. 500 IQ. And that is a lot of skeletons right there. Shoot him, yeah! That makes my fight a lot easier. How deep am I so far? 19 Y? Yeah, no. I'm probably gonna need to go deeper than that. Oh! Oh my god, okay. There's that goddamn sound again. I cannot believe I survived with the amount of health I have right now. I should have been a dead man. Oh, there's some diamonds right there. Oh, but there's drowns. Okay, I'm seeing so many reflections right now. I don't even know who's who. Blow them up. Hey, bitch, what's up? How are you still alive?
Watch them throw more stuff at me because why not? Why does finding diamonds always have to be five times more dangerous than it already is? Do I have a door? No, I don't. Frick. I'm probably gonna have to come back for that one. <coughs> door check. But here we go. A light blue goose. It can't be golden because it's not. You know damn well what I'm gonna make out of this. Behold the golden goose. That's not actually gold. Now I can get started on making a nether portal. Before you ask in the comment section, yes, I know how to make a speedrun nether portal, but the reason I'm not doing it is because I don't feel like this is the right situation to do it. There's not enough lava, so it's not gonna be good enough for me to um, make a speedrun portal. Meanwhile, I just hope to God that those fish from the caves don't come out into the ocean just to one-shot me. Oh, I think I know what's causing all those noises now. So yeah, that thing is straight up terrifying. Oh, frick. Get out. I am not messing with that thing. You see it making like those sonar waves? I am not in for that. You gonna stay there? Please do. I am scared shitless. I have 10 obsidian now. I'm gonna head back to my house. But yeah, I think I'm gonna need to upgrade this house because there's gonna need to be a hell of a lot more going. I think I might do it when I'm not recording the game, although I'm trying to save as many of these apples as I can so I can make gold apples. I'm probably gonna need gold boots too before I enter the nether. Piglins will try and kill me if I don't have these. All right, gold Yeezys required. Let's head into the nether now. All right, so nether portal created. Right now, I'm just gonna gear up before I go in because I don't know how much the cloud in a bottle will clutch up. How is it a creeper spawn here? Humiliation. That actually reminds me I'm probably gonna need more torches. What I have right now also ain't cutting it. And a spider still spawned there. How is that even possible? Well, here we go. What the hell are those up there? Okay, so the first thing I gotta do is obviously cover up the nether portal. I am not letting this thing get destroyed by a ghast. Look at its eyes! At this point, you're just asking for trouble. I'm not sure if this is good enough, but this will work. By the way, is there a map for the nether too? There is score. So yeah, I think the safest biome would be to stick with the warped forest because the only mobs that are probably gonna spawn there are endermen. What are you, sir? I'm 11, so shut the f*** up. You're not hostile, are you? Giant rare amphibian native to the warped forests of the nether. Favorite preys are flies and crimson mosquitoes, which they'll shoot their tongue out. Okay, so they're basically frogs. So, are these guys hostile? Probably not if they just kill flies. Who the f*** is this? Okay, he seems pretty chill with me. Be my sacrificial lamb. That's two under pearls now. There you are. Okay, now what the hell is that over there? Don't tell me those are the mosquitoes that those warped toads love. Now, if I'm correct, this is a bad thing because those mosquitoes, if they stay in the warped forest for too long, they'll basically turn into an indestructible monster. Okay, so where the hell was my portal again? Right there, okay. Well, I'm sorry if my visit to the nether has been rather underwhelming. Although I did show you guys what I was gonna show you anyway, so. And going into the nether was a pretty big milestone for this episode. I thought it was gonna take me until episode five to get me in, but it turns out it was pretty easy. Yep, those ruined portals basically saved me. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And once again, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm gonna try and pump updates out like these. By updates, I mean episodes. Episode four was probably just gonna be me continuing to explore the nether. So once again, stay tuned for that, guys. As for what I'm gonna do with this house right here, I'm probably just gonna continue upgrading it. Maybe when I'm not recording, but what's the point when you guys don't know what I do? So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!